This video introduces you how to differentiate instruction with technology. According to Tomlinson, differentiation means tailoring instruction to meet individual needs. Whether teachers differentiate content, process, products, or the learning environment, the use of ongoing assessment and flexible grouping makes this a successful approach to instruction. For example, in math, we can look at student preferences and provide various activities, either using manipulatives or have them observing demonstrations or sketching out the problems or do reading or comparing work with the partner or solve solving problem as a team. So there are various ways we can implement differentiated instruction. And why should we do this in a classroom? Because students come from different backgrounds and abilities and using technology can engage students much better and it also provides various medium to engage learners. And this is a digital society. Students need to have the skill to work in the real world. It will also decrease the amount of time required by teachers to create differentiated content. If we can utilize web resources, it will save teachers time. So how do you implement differentiated instruction? First, there's always pre-assessment for a teacher to assess students' readiness, ability to learn, look at their learner profile, and look at their prior knowledge in the subject matters. Then there's content that we want to use appropriate information and multiple options for taking that information. And what's the process to plan the instruction for the whole class or group or pairs or individual. We want to provide multiple options for making sense of the content through the process. And at the end, we want to assess student understanding. We also use different options to allow students to express what they know. And at the end, we do a summative evaluation to look at if they have improved or learned. So here's are a few web resources to help you get started. RubyStar is a website that will help teachers create rubrics. And there are a lot of ready-made rubrics, for example. Let's look at a digital, digital storytelling rubric. You can use the criteria. You can enter your name, and then you can pr print a worksheet or save a PDF file. So there are different criteria you can choose from by dramatic questions, point of view, or let's, let's choose point of view. And so the criteria will be created for you automatically. And then you can continue to create more criteria. For example, let's say emotional content and the criteria will be also created for you. So you can use a lot of ready-made criteria to create your rubric for students. Let's look at soundtrack. Okay, say I'm ready to I'm ready with this rubric star. You can then submit this and create a worksheet. I need to enter a zip code, but for the purpose of demonstration, I won't go into the detail. Now next, there are also, for K-12, there are different resources. So we just need to dig into the website to find different databases for students' differentiated instruction. For example, Big Ben's Guide to U.S. Government is at bandsguide.gpo.gov. Here you can see at the bottom, students can choose a K-12, K-2, 3 to 5, 6 to 8, or 9 to 12. If I choose K to 2, they are written in a much simpler language. Then I can click on this and continue. If I decide, okay, this is a too low level, I can go to the 3 to 5, great. 
and then look at the content there will be more text and I can go to 9th to 12th grade there will be more detail of this information so we can find websites that provide differential instruction for students how about let's look at this animal databases there are three levels so at the level one it's mostly pictures and I can choose a picture to learn more about the information of the bald eagle or any content if I decide I want to go straight to higher level I can go to pictures and and information so again I can choose any animal and there will be text go with the picture and again at the higher level there will be more text how about let's look at another example natural scapes again here are different we can look at living things so living spaces if I look at living things let's say big horn sheep and again I had a choice of go to basic page more details page or in-depth so this student can choose a level that's appropriate to them to learn more about big sheep a big horn sheep so there's more detail or the highest level so there's more the language is written for higher level of students let's look about another examples here is more the v throughout the ages is more for visual learners so students can choose the document index and choose a subject and there will be questions generated and there will be a self-paced worksheets for them for, for example let's look at China and I can choose as about I can choose different subjects about China let's go to Great Wall of China and from here I can decide okay I want to study this and then student can decide if you want captions or historical background or question to ponder or resources they choose a few criteria and then print worksheet so this worksheet will be created for the student to print out to to learn more about this subject so the captions historical background questions to think about and website they can explore to learn more about the subject so it, it provides materials for self-paced learning and let's look at science subject this is a website on the universe you can learn about what's in our universe again there are beginner intermediate advanced levels for the students and it's all written in a different for different levels so that's differentiated instruction in a quick overview and if you want to learn more look at the you can click on the websites or go to the live binder let's go back to the first page you can click on the you can use your phone go to the QR code or click on a website which will take you to this live binder this will take you to the live binder here and again you can look at the definition from different websites and there are a lot more resources here you can look at the video by Tomlinson who is an expert in differential instruction and you can also look at a sub tab I have one just for fun it's very humorous uh, using the animation and again if browse through the live binder and the web resources are here you can click on the link for web resources and you, you can access all the examples I have just mentioned from the PowerPoint presentation This concludes the presentation.